Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Lakeland Vale Let's Play series with me, See Waddy here, in Farming Simulator 19. At the end of the last episode, we was in the middle of doing our potato harvesting and our, um, our sunflower harvesting, both of which are nearly finished. The potatoes still have a little bit more to do. So I'm going to restart this guy straight away. I'm then going to grab the combine because we're going to go and start doing the corn harvest. Start this guy up. He's actually going to need some fuel soon. But hopefully he can finish this field before he needs fuel. So yeah, got all the sunflowers done. Which was very nice. They're all in the silo currently. Alright, we're going to put this guy into... I mean mode. Basically, I'm just going to charge into this field. Guessing I forgot to open the cover. No, the cover is open. Perfect. He hopefully won't hit any trees. We just keep an eye on him. He goes down here. But he shouldn't hit trees. Should be far enough away from the edge. I forgot to turn the collision sensor off. That is why he's been struggling. Just let him unload. Right. And we'll just carry on with the corn harvesting. So, these fields are going to need to be ploughed, <laughs> as are all those, but we're not going to worry about that because, like I say, we are not reseeding these fields because this series is coming to a close, coming to an end very soon. And I will be starting two new series, folks. In fact, some of the videos may already be up on the channel by the time you come to watch this, depending on whether I've decided to start releasing them. Also depends on whether or not I've decided to start recording them. Um, because I am very busy at the minute. Very busy. 
I'm not having a lot of time to play and record as much as I want to, as well as trying to keep up with my daily streaming. Um, Also, the fact that I'm, I'm playing currently and um, recording Formula One 2020 is proving to be quite a time sink because that takes a long time to record. Do a video. Each video that I release of that is literally a full day. A full day's work because you're recording for several hours recording all the footage from the practice sessions the qualifying the race and because i'm doing formula two there's two races at every weekend there's the feature race and then there's the sprint race so of course i've got to record the sprint race and i've got to record it from my perspective as whilst i'm doing the driving i then also have to then go back watch the replay of the whole race and record that to include some other bits and pieces of footage and then obviously i've got to whack all that video into Vegas and try and edit it down into like an hour just over an hour's worth of video huge undertaking and then you've got to render that which takes time and then you've got probably one of the longest aspects which is the uploading of the video to the YouTube which um, takes a lot of time because one of those F1, an F1 video tends to be about 9 or 10 gigabytes in size by the time it's all rendered and finished. That takes a bit of a while to upload to YouTube. And then obviously YouTube processes it and everything and then I've got to go in and add me end titles and stuff like that to the video. And put my end cards on it and stuff and get it scheduled for release to you guys so yeah i'm kind of running out of, out of time at the minute to do a lot of recording but yeah i'm hoping to get two new series started very soon farm sim on my channel as i discussed in one of the last episodes i'm i'm thinking of going rather than just playing one map and releasing four videos a week on one map which might get a little bit boring for me and might get boring for you guys watching I'm going to go back to doing two completely different maps um, and releasing those each week um, So I'm going to be starting a series on one map and then I'm going to start a second series on a completely different map. And I'm going to be uploading both to the channel at the same time. Probably alternating it. So if I release four videos a week currently, the first video of the week will be one map. The second video I release in the week will be on the other map. The third video I release will be back on the first map. And then the fourth video will be the second map. So... I'll alternate between the two maps. So if I release, so it could be, it'll be like map one, map two, map one, map two, map one, map two, map one, map two, will be how the videos tend to release. Um, I don't want to give too many details away about the maps because I do want, obviously, want the series to be a bit of a surprise to you guys watching I will say both 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 maps will use seasons um, one will use um, a geo that was intended and made especially for the map so shouldn't have any issues with that and then the other map that I'm playing on, I'm going to be using a simplified geo to again, hopefully limit my um, my issues. Uh, I'm also going to be doing a completely different approach with mods. 
Um, for example, on one of the maps, I'm going to use very, very few mods. In fact, I'm not going to be using any sort of vehicle mods. I'm going to be playing the game pretty much with vanilla equipment and DLC equipment only. Um, and people will say, well, why do you want to do that? Mods is what makes this game fun, makes this game amazing, makes this game brilliant. Um, yeah, that's exactly why I'm going to do the series. So that by the time we finish it, we'll all have learned to have, we'll all have learned to have appreciate the mods so much more. <laughs> you know, we'll all learn to appreciate our mods so much more and not take modders for granted. You know, because without them, we will learn that the game is very, very, very freaking grindy. <laughs> I mean, we're doing a kind of similar thing already. Uh, I'm doing a similar kind of playthrough already on the multiplayer, on the current multiplayer server on the Lacor and Ella map that I'm playing with Mr. Helgi. We're doing a very limited mod list where we are basically um, using vanilla vehicles, tools, and equipment. We're not using any of the global company stuff, you know, any of the production factory stuff. So it's very much bare bones farming on that map. Even the combine's running out of fuel fairly quickly. Down to half a tank. Alright, sorry, sorry dude, I've got a bit of a skid on then. A bit of a skid. Now, one of the things I do want to point out and do want to say regarding, obviously, future series of Farm Sim on the channel, um, the, the two series that I'm about to start will not... I can definitely tell you what map they won't be on. <laughs> they won't be on the Millennial Farmer map. And that is because that map has been pulled from the Mod Hub, as many people probably already know. However, I'm going. I'm referencing my the video that I uploaded back when the mod, when the map first appeared on the mod hub before it got removed. I did a quick look at the map, quick map look, found a few of the problems that the map had, and obviously highlighted them. And then obviously I went off to report them. And shortly after the map got taken down from the mod hub. Um, to be fixed to be sent back to the mapper's paradise to be fixed and have changes made to it and things however I left the video up I did leave the video up on the channel because you know it's worth being there I spent the time to record it and you know it can help people see and understand why the map got removed and the issues that the map had and it also highlights some of the issues within the modding process when you're trying to make mods for pc and also for console some of the problems that the modders themselves run into because of the differences between the pc and console platforms and systems um however i'm a little bit disappointed that the um the uh, response to that video has been quite negative. 
Um, I noticed there's been a lot of dislikes left on the video. Far more dislikes than I normally get on my videos. Um, as if, you know, people are upset at me personally for the map being removed from the mod hub because I did the video and I reported the issues with the map. And um, no, <laughs> it's not my fault at all that the map is broken was released broken it's giants for not testing it properly and of course it's the map authors for having not made it correctly you know it's got it, no to do with me i just looked at i just looked at what i was given and did a bit of a, a, you know a review of it and like i say i found the problem straight away as did everybody else who tried to play it but because not everybody else did a video <laughs> they don't all get the flack and feedback that i have got for doing such a thing which kind of puts you in a difficult position as a content creator because it's like well do you continue to do reviews of mods maps and stuff like that in an effort to show stuff to the community when if something goes wrong or a mod, mod or a map doesn't work you then potentially get slated for it as if it's your fault you know and i know some of the bigger youtubers they they run into a similar issue i know mr cdp has run into problems a couple of times when he's done his mod reviews and stuff where he's to put out a video reviewing a mod and a few hours later the mod gets removed for whatever reason and then people are like having a go at him <laughs> it's like it's not his fault i know one of those things was the um back in the day when missy b first released her like fuel tankers and like liquid fertilizer storage like placeables the ones that the one i've got on the map over on my farm for putting the liquid fertilizer and herbicide and that in one of the f issues we had with those mods was she had taken the models from somebody else without permission and obviously made the mods release them on the mod hub and the people responsible for the models obviously filed a complaint with giants um that their work had been reused without permission and the mods got took down which of course when you're on console if you already have the mod downloaded you you're free to keep it but if you should delete it you can never re-download it <laughs> and obviously for someone like say mr cdp he's got these mods downloaded and saved and he uses them all the time but then anybody new can't download them and it causes a bit of a a bit of a you know a bit of a, a conversation piece shall we say and people going why can't i use that mod? why can't i find that mod it's like well he got deleted for copyright for yeah but he's still using it well yes because he downloaded it before it got removed um and one of those and we even had a similar si si uh, issue on pc back when the game first released someone released a hay barn um like a hay sh uh, a storage building for like hay and straw and grass um and that was only on the mod hub for a few hours before it got removed because again the mod the mod author had taken somebody else's model building and used it without permission um and i wasn't fortunate fortunate enough to download it I really wanted it because the capacity, storage capacity for being able to fill it with straw and hay and grass and stuff was really, really high. But I sadly wasn't quick enough to download it from the mod hub. And I saw loads of people using it and it annoyed me no end. I couldn't use this mod. But the good advantage of being on PC is there are sadly, <laughs> I'll say this sadly, 
there are sadly scumbag sites out there, websites, that basically take every single mod from the mod hub and from mod author's own sites. They use bots to these bots to search all these sites and they download all the mods and then they re-upload them on their own sites as if they are theirs. And um basically get all the credit for them, get all the download, get all the clicks, get all the revenue from the advertising and the downloads and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I managed to find that Hayloft building on one of those sites and I'm ashamed to say I did download it from that site. Um, one of the few times I've downloaded a mod from a scumbag site. Um, Got a bit of an issue there. He's not empty. There we go, just have to tip flick the nozzle out a bit more. Problem? Is the problem? Now, of course, follow me mod isn't going to be following me now because I turned him off. Turning back on. There we go. Don't run me over, please, tractor. Done. Uh, I haven't been paying attention to the screen, so I don't know whether I got the message or not to say the other fella has finished. Yeah, take a screenshot. Always take a screenshot. guess that Mr. Potato Man has probably finished. At this point. I'm just going to confuse the heck out of the follow me guy. If I work this way round, I'm not going to be subjected to quite so much slowdown as if I was working up the field and up that massive hill. Let's work left to right now. Work across the slope rather than up and down it. Yeah, all this corn is going to be sold once we've uh, got a full trailer load. I'm not going to bother siloing it. I did silo the sunflowers in the last episode, but I'm going to take those out and get those sold as well. Um, that's something probably for another day when I'm whilst I'm waiting for the soybeans to uh, reach maturity and be ready to, 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 to harvest.
do it that way for a minute because I didn't leave a lot of room. Long day of corn harvesting. Well, long day of harvesting as a whole. Potatoes, sunflowers, corn. <coughs> Excuse me. Field slowly getting smaller, <laughs> and we're not making as the the massive inroads that I thought we was gonna make. You know, stripping away a good section, a good amount of the field with each cut, which is good. The uh, grain cart's getting full. Nice.
probably got enough corn in there now actually to um, to fill the trailer to capacity enable us to get that get that sold stop the harvester there. Let's go grab the truck. 79% full anyway. If I can get this full, we can go off and sell some stuff. And you guys can see some stuff get sold. Best price for corn on the map is currently Agraz. Agraz land trade. Oof. It's a bit of a job to pull this. Let's go down to find Agraz, wherever Agraz is. Didn't think to check the map. He's up the top. I know where it is. It's up the top end of the map. I got a little bit somewhat confused because obviously I placed that extra farm barn over there and then I never, we never ever kind of used it. Did we? In the series. fly on down to Agraz, we'll tip this, and then that'll be the end of today's episode, folks. Again, trying to keep these videos short and sweet. Can't promise that on the next two series, I'll be honest. The next two series, the video lengths may be all over the place, because it depends on whether I get done in each episode, what I need to get done in the episode. So some videos in the new series may be long, some may be short. It's really um, going to vary a little bit. Can't use the global market because I forgot to turn that on today before I started um, the save up. So anything I, I produce today, I can't sell at the global market. Which is a little shame. Although people would say, hey, I would prefer you to use the stuff that's in the map rather than the global market because the global market might be a bit cheaty. It might have higher prices. Hundred and sixty five grand for selling that. Not bad at all. Hundred and sixty five grand for a trailer full of core. That's nice. We'll run this back down to the field. So if you have enjoyed today's episode, folks, please remember to leave me a like on the video. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Leave me comments in the comment section down below. And remember to share this video with every single person in the world. 
This has been the Lakeland Vale map, Lakeland Vale 1 map by Stevie, because there are now like three Lakeland Vale maps. There is Lakeland Vale 1, this map. There is Lakeland Vale 2, which is also available from Stevie's website, and he's currently working on Lakeland Vale 3 as we speak, which is another map. This is this whole series of these Lakeland Vale maps that he's doing. So head over to Stevie's page to download this map and his others, as well as all his other mods that he's released for the game, and show some support for Stevie for the great work that he does. And um, yeah, that's about it for today, folks. I've been C Wally. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.